right, it's now February 2022 and we are in year three for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'd say now is about time Ubisoft releases some sort of roadmap for what players can expect this year, all right? And I say that because they already have plans for year three made, guys. It's just the way game development works. They must have already started development on whatever is next for this game. Whatever updates and additions or missions that are to come are right now in progress, and they have a plan, no doubt. So again, we just need them to share that plan with us and give us some sort of roadmap. Whether it's going to be Moa Island opening up, or a new area for players to explore and tackle, they need to start sharing those things with us because you can definitely fit a monster base on Moa Island with different layers to it. It's Moa, guys. Moa isn't the largest chunk of land in the game by any stretch, but it would be nice to have that island populated with some enemies, some enemy structures, facilities to operate in. Perhaps even a large-scale mission could take place there. Regardless, outside of that, they could also open up other islands too, islands that don't even exist yet. Even just add some more land to the likes of Golem, make it far away from the mainland to justify it if you have to. But aside from new areas to explore, what about some new enemy customization features? I said this like a hundred times, but give us the ability to spawn sums of enemies where we see fit and allow us to notch up the amount of enemies that populate those areas, all right? Add more enemy camps, add more enemy structures and all those areas that are just basically nature walks at this point. Fill the map up some more for things for us to tackle, all right? And add some civilian life too, why not? Bring this life, bring this game some life, man. All right, there's also a lot of different angles they could be going with a year three, and I know that they already are developing it. Like I said, guys, development takes time, all right? It's not something you do a month before an update drops. They have a team right now, men and women, who woke up at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. or whatever and started their day working on Breakpoint's year three content. It's definitely coming, all right? And after the success of year two, I do not see them breaking off with Breakpoint just yet. And ending dev time on it, all right? Breakpoint has been on a roll lately, I'd say, and I can confidently say that it's been on a roll lately. The Operation Motherland update really showed to me that the team over there is trying, all right? They're trying to be better with this game and do things that the fans like. Sure, we don't have a true Ghost Recon game anymore that I've been preaching for. We are still missing a lot of those fucking core elements that make this game a true Ghost Recon game. Attack maps, better squad controls, an extended team to command, friendly vehicle units to command, things that the previous games had that they could lean in on those aspects if they want to bring some of that type of content to year three. Now, in the original Ghost Recon game, you needed to move super damn slowly and engage targets at a distance. You needed to always be aware because a target up on a hill 800 meters away might strike you down before you even see them, all right? In Breakpoint, the enemies can be sometimes very fucking clueless. You could be like three meters away from a guy. Heck, I was standing right next to one in one of my videos and he didn't even fucking see me, guys. So, the enemies can sometimes be clueless in this game and it can make the game very easy. Although there are times don't get me wrong, where I do die on extreme with no HUD, with uh, my with my health regen turned off and bandages set to few, and and uh, you got your your uh, your uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Your injuries turned up all the way. So this game isn't always super easy. It can get difficult if you do uh, kind of like go for that kind of experience. But I feel like when you give the players an experience that warrants them to slow down and really take their time with things, it can create a whole new experience for them. If you give us lethal enemies, and I'm talking dudes who can one shot you in a firefight because you know that happens, and and it would force you, the player, to utilize cover more and play with more strategy, all right, with, with using that tack map, all right, and then you got those new and improved squad controls to utilize as well, you throw those in the mix, and then, like I said, a brand spanking new tack map if they added that, then you really are changing the experience for players, it may seem subtle, but it would have a big impact on the overall gameplay, guys, all right, and speaking of all that, we need a hardcore mode like ghost mode back in this game, that the one that Wildlands had, all right, it's a feature players have been screaming for, and I do not doubt that that will become 
coming in year three, all right? So if there's anything you can kind of be sure to be sure to have in year three, I'm pretty sure a ghost mode will be added, all right? But let's bounce over now to enemies, guys, all right? We need a massive increase in enemy count all across Aroa, all across the game world, all right? I want an increase in difficulty alongside of those increase of enemies, all right? More patrols, more units just spread all across the map, all right? And it should not take six or seven body shots anymore to take down a target, all right? But I think that it's too late in the game for them to change that. Uh, you, you guys see in my weapon loadout videos when I do those power tests, you see how many shots it takes to take down a target, all right? Now, sure, a wolf might be a little bit more armored so they can take a few more shots, but again, guys, a, 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 an enemy should not be alive after taking more than two shots to the chest. I'm sorry, all right? That's how it should be, man. They need to increase the time to kill in this game, both against player and both against non-player enemies, all right? Anyways, guys, so we need better enemy AI behavior too to go alongside of all of this, all right? So again, these are all things for them to consider, and these are things I'd expect to see in a year three, all right? Maybe not all these things, but some of these things for sure in some way can be implemented and can come. We just need, again, a roadmap, something to show the community that just sits here frothing at the fucking mouth for any updates on what's in store. Let us get excited, all right? Let us know clearly what to expect and be honest because not sharing a roadmap and just releasing stuff last minute as a surprise will just make players feel empty because each of us I know each of us have something that we want to see and if we aren't told what to expect then the community will just hope for things and expect things that aren't actually coming and it could end up making players angry when the update does come and we get upset because we were expecting certain things so give us a roadmap lay out everything clearly so we the community know what to expect and we can set our expectations realistically as to not be disappointed all right or you can just not tell us anything and then get scolded by the weight of this community and how vocal we are when those year three content drops do happen all right and it's not what we expected so lay it out everything on the table for us that way we can set our expectations realistically all right so guys this video i know it's, i'm gonna i'm gonna close it off now all right but uh this video wasn't really uh to, to get into all those things into heavy detail all right this was just to kind of give ubisoft a jab to start sharing with us those plans that they have all right so sure i briefly touched upon a few different topics relative to things we can hope to see but i of course again did not go into a full covering of each of those things all right guys again this video was mostly just to poke ubisoft in the shoulder not so much a video to fully discuss every single thing and every little type of detail that i would normally do um on what i would like to see in a year three but do share your thoughts guys in the comments and expand on some of those brief points that i brought up and i suggested and let's get this convo going all right guys feed them your ideas and your wants for a year three you guys you the uh, <clears throat> sorry man i just i had my throat there anyways guys sorry um, what was I saying? So yeah, uh, you, you guys, I was saying you guys, you the community, feed them your year three ideas, guys, all right? You the community are the voices they need to listen to, all right? And uh, that's it for me today, guys, all right? So thanks for watching. I, uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts. And again, I, I look forward to engaging with you guys in the comments and uh, seeing what you guys have to say. Because you guys, again, you always have such fun-fueled ideas that they could really dip into and lean into when making those new developments for this game, all right? And I'm sure that's still the early stages, so it's not too late to get some of those kind of uh, ideas circulating there and something they, that they can, uh, again, something that they could look at and uh, perhaps uh, utilize, all right? So anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I look forward to hearing your, your comments, all right, guys? And, and as always, take it easy, all right? Hold your position. Sniper, take cover! Man down! Man down! Just hold on to your shit! Man down! Grenade! 